Blam! Here's a shout out to my dude Ziggs. And this video is, is fucking fire. Like, it, it, if you watch this all the way through and you're not like. <laughs> fucking supercharged. <laughs> then, uh, you're probably not a fucking human being. Uh, you, you're definitely not anywhere close to being awake. Or, or doing any kind of inner work to where you're able to feel the message here. Like, fuck words. I wonder if you can feel someone's intent and feel their, their fucking power and where their focus is. Wanting to empower other people because they have come to the realization that there's no there's no difference between other people and themselves so they they empower themselves and spread that out by empowering ourselves we realize that we are empowering everyone else because there's there ain't no fucking difference people Yeah, just just a fucking shout out in here, and uh, let's get powered up uh, again. <laughs> if you haven't seen this yet, and if you have, then let's let's repower. Right? How much how much energy and attention do you put to yourself, and then you can power up? That's the whole thing. You're putting attention to the YouTube band. You put attention to you know other people and how. How is it that, you know, they can tell you how this shit works? When in reality, all you need to do is pay attention and energize yourself. Because with energy comes great power. And then with great power comes great responsibility. Then after that is, what do you do with that power? Huh? Are you energized? Because now here's the thing. Once you're energized and powered up, all right, now you got to get your life together. Getting your life together, okay, is literally getting everything outside of you in order and and together, this is why they say, my life's falling apart. When you say your life's falling apart, it's because everything outside of you is falling apart, but you also broken. That's the whole thing. Get Ah, uh, yes. There's, there's a couple things here. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of the things, I'm not for sure who specifically, or maybe he's... I, I really just don't know. With, with uh, YouTube bands... But <laughs> what comes to mind for me immediately is Zen App Man. And, uh, <clears throat> and that copyright band or whatever the fuck's going on with him. And, uh, just, just like what Zig says, like, uh, you gotta realize what you're doing onto yourself. Don't, don't. Play the victim. Don't don't get caught up in victim mentality. If something happens to you, okay, address it, deal with it, realize it for what it is, and then move on. Don't don't sit there and hold on to it. And and this is you know what why people do this is is because they have they have yet to heal themselves on, on an inner level. They have yet to dive into themselves and realize the true causalities of why things are happening. To them. They don't understand what they're creating for themselves. So like. With, with the ban. Uh, that he's talking about. Th this. Uh, in my experience. This is bringing up. Uh, something that. My. Uh, immediate. Family. <laughs> I guess you could call it, uh, even though, uh, like, to me, personally, my family is uh, those that I commune with and connect with on a, uh, on the deepest of levels. Like, that's, that's my fam, you know what I'm saying? You guys are my fucking fam, who I connect with and... Those of you 
every single one of you, even if I don't connect with you on like a certain type of medium, I connect with you on the medium of you're doing your inner work. And I feel that. And it doesn't matter where you are, how secluded you think you are. Uh, you can be isolated. You can be in a fucking goddamn pyramid. Surrounded by stone and uh, granite and think that you are protected or secluded. Nope. Because you are me and I am you. So there, there's no separation. So sorry if you thought that you could <sighs> block block us from our memory. I'm sorry if you thought that you could leave this plane, this level, and observe from afar. But you did so knowing that, you know, we were going to come to this level. So, uh, we here. <laughs> we out here. And, uh, we realize in the true causalities beyond just this, uh, bullshit that most people are caught up in. Some of us out here are realizing The origins. Before the cycles and the patterns and the loops began. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, went, I went a little deep there. And needed to speak about. The original ancestors. So that. Y'all know, like, th this is the level that some of us are operating in. So, yeah. <laughs> what I was going to say is I have a, uh, relation, I guess you could call it. Just these terms are so foreign to me because for me personally someone I relate with someone that is close to me someone that is family to me is someone that I am connected with with my heart and they have opened up their heart to to where we can commune on that level so for me personally this is not my like, quote unquote, immediate family, because they have closed their hearts off. And cut themselves off from their own innate power. So, one thing that is coming up right now is, uh, one of these family members, I guess you could say, uh, are, ha has been hospitalized because of, of uh, what they've done to themselves. So it just so happened that I was in a location to where one of these family members let me know what was going on in the situation and I had to be very careful and I made sure I didn't say what what I wanted to say which was you know just what I say you know on here which is just wake up to what you're doing to yourself and so I listened and I kind of threw a couple little things out there you know and, and little little moments but then to end it you know I 
went back into where true health begins and that, you know, people are doing these things to themselves. So like, if you find yourself in a hospital or hospitalized, like, of course accidents happen and you, some people wind up in the ER, uh, And it may seem like, you know, things happen outside of your control or whatever, but ultimately everything happens because you allow it to happen because it needed to happen for you to wake up and realize something. What that something is, I don't know. You will know whenever you finally realize it for yourself. But beyond that, uh, whenever people enter into hospitals for, you know, ailments or diseases or what the fuck ever, this is 100% because they're not paying attention to what they're doing to themselves. So this is what I ended with after listening to all this fucking shit that the uh, doctors and, and whatnot are doing to this uh, person in my family. Which is uh, essentially uh, trying their hardest to kill them. They They are... Literally trying their hardest to kill them while saying, oh, uh, he needs this, uh, he needs that, and, and we're putting him on this be because of this, and w we're not for sure why he's not waking up yet, but we're still having him sedated with these chemicals. Like, are, are you fucking retarded? Are you kidding me? And, and then And then having people... Tell me that they're, you know, oh my god, it's so hard to go through this and to see this. It's like, dude, like, are, are you real? And I, I, would, I would say, like, are you realizing like, what they're doing? Like, wake the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, oh, you need to feel bad too, because we're all feeling bad. I do feel bad. I, I really fucking do feel bad. I feel bad for all of you for falling into this ignorance I feel bad for the person that they have allowed themselves to enter into a, a space where they are having people um, actively slow kill them even more so than what they've done to themselves because ultimately we're, we're doing all this to ourselves people wake up to that first and foremost but whenever you uh, give your power away to people that, quote-unquote, know better than you because they're educated, they learn about it, so they know better. Oh, but they don't know why you're not, you know, uh, recovering. Oh, no, it's a mystery to us, you know. Uh, he should be waking up, but we're going to keep him sedated. But, uh, and this is just an example of many, many examples that I have personally heard of uh, with uh, what goes on in hospitals. And to be honest, if, if I was ever in a hospital, whenever that would happen, if I uh, allowed the layers to dissolve, I would probably gather all the staff up into a room and inject them with a poison and tell them I don't know why you're 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 having these symptoms even though I injected you with this this is very uh, very bizarre you shouldn't be doing this oh but you know I'm doing this to you but but it just doesn't make sense why why you're not recovering, even though I I'm the one doing this to you. This is this is what's happening like fucking worldwide in every goddamn system that that you can think of, M micro and macro on, on a social level, every social level to the city, state, fucking country. This this is what's happening. Oh. We we don't know why this is happening, even though we're the ones causing the problems. And oh, oh, here's a solution. Here's a bullshit solution, so that we can make more money and profit off of you. 
realize what's fucking going on, people. This is fucking pathetic. How much, how much longer are we just going to go along with this fucking shit? And we got to be smart about it. We can't just rise up and stand up and, oh, the resistance, yeah, rebel. Because uh, that's, you can't stand up against a mass wave of ignorance like this. You have to outsmart it. You have to get smart within it so that you can play the long game. Slowly start to wake up people little by little. Realize where the roots are and realize where the lasting benefit is going to be. Work there. First work within, but after we, when you, whenever you've done enough of that to where you're able to see, you know, the craziness uh, with a little bit more clarity, then you have to get smart about it. You have to realize thing, why things got the way they are. Yes, get fired up, absolutely, but don't project that onto the fucking system because the system uh, has been in place for much longer than what you will probably will ever be aware of because most people don't understand uh, that energy can continue between lifetimes. So whenever we talk about they... It's an energy that's been around for a long time. So essentially we have to reverse the corruption in our own self and utilize the tools that we have in the moment right now at the same time, creating new tools like, through, with inspiration, with communion, allowing these new types of businesses, new types of organizations, new types of gatherings to build strength, to build momentum to where that kind of essence and the true essence and feelings can actually start to build to, to a point where more people can release from their indoctrination and finally start to wake themselves up. And it's happening, but what also is happening is the corruption and darkness and uh, spirits that con us have amped their game up to the nth degree. So we, we are going to see, we, we already have been seeing, but very soon we are going to see that come to a head. And then we're really, really going to see the, the ignorant choose their side and the people that want to wake up choose that side. And the people that are awake already have that side. So... We'll see how many people we can draw towards us. Okay, <laughs> let's get back into this. Get yourself together. That's why they say, come on, man, you got to get yourself together. Come on, man. Right? That's in and out, though. In, then out. Because you can't put anything outside of you together if you're fucking broken. Oh, right quick, I go. I'm just, just pausing this real quick here because it reminded me of uh, kind of one of the things I wanted to say. It just reminds me uh, whenever I talk to someone uh, several years back, 
whenever I was having things fall apart in my outer world. Uh, this person called me. Uh, it may seem randomly, but of course, you know, nothing in life is random. So uh, they called me at a very uh, bizarre time, but, you know, I mean, it happened when it did, when it needed to. And uh, I told this person um, that, you know, <laughs> like ZigZag is saying here, right? and when he keeps saying, like, you know, well, people say my life is falling apart. This is what I said to this person. I said, you know, it's it's kind of like uh, my life is falling apart right now. But I, I was not, absolutely was not in a victim mentality. I, I, I said this um, in the flow of saying, but. I'm not atta I'm not attached to anything. I'm I'm allowing things to fall as they need to. And I and I kind of went into and explained like why things are falling apart and like this is needs to happen and I'm allowing this process to happen because of what's happening inside of me. Things need to fall away whenever we get clearer and clearer. We need to release and let go of things that aren't serving us anymore. So this is what I said, like, even though things outside myself may seem to be falling apart or may seem to be uncertain, what is certain, what is coming together is within me. And this is where my focus is, like, I'm drawing away from the things outside of me and that, that shit can just fall away. Where my focus and intention, attention is is inside. I'm cultivating the awareness I need to do in the moment right now. And that's how you transform. That's how you alchemize. That's how you create the philosopher's stone within inside of you. Refinement, discernment, a clarity happens inside of your mind, inside of your body all your bodies and then connection felt experience gnosis you experience it you don't need to tell anyone about it you experience it that's all you need because that's everything that's fucking everything so whoever want to fuck with con spirits hmm? con spirit sees all right? You ain't going nowhere. Yep. It's a trap. So let's do this. Let's do this. Mm. Let's do this. How do you not feel the fucking motivation of the spark? How do you not feel it? Ah, shit. Whatever. You see, you can <laughs> psych and motivate your motherfucking self. You can do this shit. <laughs> God damn. You know, I put this video out. Ain't nobody watching yet because I'm, I'm technically recording it right now. But I'm motivated right now. I'm talking to myself and I'm fucking motivating myself. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't think that anybody else would get motivated? This is how it starts. You motivate your damn self and you watch how everybody around you is going to motivate. You fix yourself and put yourself together and be a better person. And you watch how everybody outside of you is going to be a better person automatically. You ain't got to do much. You ain't got to do shit. You ain't got to do anything. Because your frequency and vibration is higher. You're still... Yes, this is <laughs> like the video I just put out. Uh, you tone and attune to the real, and people respond to that, or they get the fuck away from you. And this is this is what you're gonna experience. I don't want to tell you, you know, that I know, you know, better than you, or that I know what you're gonna experience. But you know, fucking do it, fucking experience it, fucking go through it. This is what you're gonna experience. You start vibing high, and people vibe with you, or they get the fuck out of your way. Because they can't handle it. They may start drama and start shit with you, but you stay in clarity. and You stay in your core. The resonance that is the truth within you. And uh, their bullshit it isn't going to last. It's going to fall to the side. And you're going to attract to you that of which you are experience it don't take my word for nothing fucking find out for yourself people
Do it for yourself. This is where it begins. Do it. Start to attract frequency and vibrations as such. If you're empowering conspiracy seas, or if you're empowering shit that ain't serving you, just think about what state you will be in. Because it's all about your state of being. That's all it's going to be. Yep. But you even control your state of being. You think that people outside of you are fucking your life up, and it's not. You're fucking your own life up. This is proof. What I just said right here is proof as to how you can get your fucking life together by fucking motivating yourself. You can fucking record. You even got to fucking, do- listen, record <laughs> and fucking write shit. You can write shit down. You can write shit down. You'd be surprised. Yo, let me tell you something. When I write, Yo. all right, I'm a great writer. I notice I'm a fucking great writer. Hell yeah. And, and, and when I write shit, I'm like, man, this, this is fucking beautiful. And what happens then? Now you're in gratitude. You're doing things with love. Now, you, now you're now you motivated because you're like, I just did something great. Isn't this what we should be doing every day? Now we have a tool here where we can do that. Rather than talking shit. <laughs> worrying about other people. Worrying about garbage. There's a big change coming. All right? There's a big change coming. Because the cleaner, the clearer your vessel, the more powerful you are. See, I don't care when people say the food and this. The the cleanliness ain't going to come from the food you eat. You see, people think that I'm eating clean foods. I'm going to clean my vessel out. How do I clean my vessel out? What should I take? It's How about you don't take anything? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, right? How about you don't take anything? How about you just leave your fucking body alone and you watch how it'll just clean itself out? Exactly. Huh? If anything, do an enema. And with your own fucking liquids. Oh, yes. God damn. I, I, I just fucking did this personally, actually. So, I mean, uh, more synchronicities, right? God Recycle your own waters. There's many ways to do this, and that's one of them. And it's a beautiful thing. Experience it for yourself. Don't take my or Zigzag's word for anything. Experience shit for yourself, people. Experience the beauty. Feel it. Fucking feel it. Make it real for you. How about that? How about you age some of that shit and then you see what the fuck happens? How about that? Huh? <laughs> well, what do I take to clean my body? I don't take shit. <laughs> don't take anything. But where do I go to learn about myself and how do I... Don't do shit. <laughs> Stay still. Yes. Be quiet. Yes. But but they're banning me. Well, don't pay attention to it. Exactly. Exactly. But but they're robbing me and they don't empower it. I already told you, just don't do shit. <laughs> don't do shit, damn it. <laughs> oh, you don't shit. Get it. You don't get it. Trust me. You don't get it. You don't get it. Uh, and I'm not saying I know it all. I don't know it all. I don't know shit. I don't know shit. I need guidance. I need guidance. Okay? I need guidance. Dude. And, and this is and this is where like you know whenever you're you're in the presence of someone that oh man <laughs> where are the words right that has done uh, their inner work that that really is on the fucking path of realizing what's inside of themselves because they showcase humility and don't mistake. Zigzag's words here. He says he needs guidance, but he knows damn well where that guidance stems from and where it starts from. It starts from within, and you're going to be reminded. Of what you're doing within yourself. By other folk like us. Who are doing the same shit. We guide ourselves, people. You, We guide ourselves towards what's within. But I'm doing this 
just with love. I'll tell you right now, I don't expect nothing back out of this shit. All right? That's, that's, that's as, 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 about as, as fucking genuine as it can get. You know why? Because the, when I, the more I do this, the more I'm literally empowering and uplifting myself as well. That's why. Exactly. There's no, there's no, there's no, I, I don't feel like, like I can't do this any other way, but with, with that frequency of appreciation and love for everybody in my space. That's it. So what do you do with this tool now? How do you utilize what I'm telling you now? Because the same way we didn't utilize the tools or the resources of our planet, we abused it. Use this to your advantage now. What are you going to do with it? Let's do it. 